see what news we have tomorrow to decide when to trade. A little terrible. This, this, this is a sucky, sucky, sucky week. Lack of news events. Oh, sweet. Okay. Thursday is fun. Now, Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Tuesday night. US time is fun. We can try Tuesday morning next. And then we'll do Wednesday night. No, we do Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Tuesday 9:30 Eastern Standard Time. We'll see because on the on the calendar it looks really really quiet. So don't be surprised if we trade it for half an hour and I say hey let's get out of here. Uh, we'll come back and and um, we'll come back for the night session which should be better because of the China news. Okay, that 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 was definitely going to give us some nice range to trade off of. Uh, and one more thing, for those of you who are planning year-end vacations and and uh, afraid that afraid that you know you're gonna lose out uh, on binary lab trading sessions, uh, I would say that if any of you wants to go on holiday and you have anywhere between now and the first week of January, by all means, you know, just go ahead and do whatever you feel like doing because um, the market is going to go very very it's going to go increasingly still uh, leading up to the new year. And um, from Forex experience in the past, uh, typically from the 20th, or from the 23rd onward, um, actually the whole this, the whole week of Christmas, you know, that, that whole week, uh, I, I think I think we should we should just uh, take a break to the New Year because from experience, the market's really really bad during those times. So there is no point uh, to trade just because to fulfill a need to trade. And you're going to find that we're going to get many more sessions like what we had today, which I don't find fantastic. Uh, so I, I recommend that we just take it easy and spend time with your, your friends and family from 22nd, probably right through to the 5th. So we'll take a break from 22nd. To, and then we'll come back on the the fifth of, the fifth of January. Um, and then this week, next week, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I would like to try to arrange sessions to coincide with news events because that's going to give us volatility that we can trade. But if there's not, uh, you know, do not be surprised if I decide to reduce uh, the number of sessions. Right now, we do about five to five to six sessions per week but we may reduce down to four if I find that there's nothing much happening like you see okay I'm looking at I'm looking at Monday um, yeah I think we can trade we can trade Monday morning next week uh, we definitely can trade no, no Tuesday nothing uh, yeah we can trade Tuesday morning Tuesday morning is better Monday is like so so okay Tuesday morning is better um, okay if you're wondering hey don't don't people say uh, high impact news don't don't you think we should stay out actually it's quite the opposite because um, towards the end of the year if not for these news events we're, we're gonna hardly get any volatility to trade because these news events guarantee that some big boys will be out there trading at the same time as us. And that's what we want. We don't want to be risking it uh, on the low volatility times because we can be just, you know, losing by fractions of a pip in the last few seconds. And that's not nice, not fun. So 
Wednesday. Uh, those who want to trade Europe session, you can. US looks good. Oh, sweet. Uh, what's this? Thursday. Um, Thursday, I can see that US is already dying down in terms of the, the news. 18 December. Um, Canadian Friday morning. Yeah, so next week, I think we're not going to be trading every day. We may do like four sessions next week. 